Pokemon has been blessing us with amazing releases for close to three decades now. And with its immense success on consoles like the Switch, it can be easy to forget that some of the franchise's best games were handheld only titles. The Nintendo DS specifically was home to some of Game Freak's greatest work. So today on Game Rant, we are going over the top five best Pokemon games for the DS. Starting at number five, we've got Pokemon Conquest. This spin-off developed by Koei Tecmo breaks away from the usual Pokemon formula by placing the player in a tactical RPG. And though this was a series first time with this genre, the quality of the game will leave you thinking otherwise. Here, instead of traveling through a new region to become a Pokemon master, you're a warlord who must command an army of Pokemon. Your goal? Conquer the 17 kingdoms of the Ronsei region. Style-wise, the game does an incredible job at fusing the elements of Pokemon with the aesthetic of the Sengoku period in Japan. The story will keep you busy for about 15 hours, but the amount of post-game content will leave you baffled. At number 4, we have Pokemon Platinum. Being the third mainline game released in Gen 4, this title provides a more full experience than its predecessors, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. In it, the player must travel through the Sinnoh region to collect all the gym badges, stop Team Galactic, and of course, become the Pokemon Master. The region is home to many of the best designed Pokemon in the series, and the story is a lot more fleshed out than older Pokemon GBA games. In fact, one can argue that this was the start of Game Freak putting more effort in the narratives told in this series. Compared to Diamond and Pearl, this game adds more Pokemon and even includes more story with the debut of the Distortion World. So if you ever get the urge to visit or even revisit Generation 4 of this franchise, Pokemon Platinum is your best bet. Moving forward to Generation at number 3, we have Pokemon Black and White. Okay, remember when I said Gen 4 was when Game Freak started putting more into their stories? Well, Gen 5 is when they really went above and beyond. Pokemon Black and White takes place in the Unova region. Like the other mainline titles, your objective is simple. However, there's an added level of depth with the debut of characters like N, a mysterious Pokemon trainer who questions the morality of catching and battling with Pokemon. Additionally, this game introduces a massive total of 156 new Pokemon, giving it an even more fresh feel compared to previous titles in this series. Next, at number 2, we have the follow-ups to Black and White, Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. At first glance, one may think this is just a slightly better version of the previous titles. That does fall under Pokemon's MO. But Black 2 and White 2 are actually full sequels that take place after the events of Black and White and in it, they managed to elevate all the things that made those titles so memorable. The story is even better, and there is more of a challenge when it comes to the battles. Along with that, seeing the friends you made in Black and White matured adds a whole new layer of immersion. It's why Charon and Bianca are two supporting characters I can never forget. And last, at number one, there is Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Taking the player back to Johto, these games are remakes of the Gen 2 games Pokemon Gold and Silver and to this day, it is still seen as one of the best remakes in the franchise. Not only does it revamp the visuals with fresh new graphics, but it also adds even more lore to this admittedly mysterious region. There's also the added benefit of getting two regions for the price of one, as these games start in Johto, but you later get to travel to Kanto, where even more challenges await. And there you have it, folks. Those are our picks for the best Pokemon DS games. Thanks for watching, and until next time, battle on.